Shiva as god of dance is not part of the North Indian Shiva traditions. In North India, he is the ascetic. He is the uh, ascetic who is distant from worldly life, who sits in the mountains, who covers himself with ash. Um, he doesn't want to be part of worldly life. That's the northern Shiva. The effort is made to make him a householder. He doesn't want to be. He's a reluctant groom. So the whole story is a conflict between, uh, in, in a way you could see it as an anti-Buddhist conversation. Buddhism is about a householder prince who becomes an ascetic. Shaivism is about an ascetic who becomes a householder. The northern culture is about Bholenath, the innocent one. The graceful dancer is a very southern. The wise teacher is again very southern. This is a Shaiva Siddhanta. Kashmir Shaivism is more Bhairav, more Bholenath. So Bhairav, these two ideas are much more popular in the northern tradition. And these traditions are there in the south but in the more rural communities. But the more Veerabhadra, the violent one. But Bholenath as a concept is not there in the south. The guileless, innocent, um, you know, ganja smoking, bhang drinking is not part of the southern tradition. It's more a siddha, uh, a wise sage, a, you know, uh, that is the impression that became more popular. So it's more a geographical distribution. There is in Shiv Shaivism a north-south shift, so it is in Vaishnavism, even in Shakta traditions there's uh, many shifts. So in a way there are two different aspects of the same culture.